I'm Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Store. From today's, whoops, it's a daisy. Today's guitar is a contemporary Squire HH Telecast. Um, some things I found out quite recently about this. Um, well, just to give a bit of backstory. Squire released a range of guitars back in the eighties, contemporary range. This is kind of another not in a sense. It's a redo, reissue, reissue is the word I'm looking for of that series. So, from what I can see. The grain would suggest that it's a one-piece neck, which is really cool to see on a guitar at this price point. It's a popular body. Um, the pickups are high gain output, so they're more of a lead and heavy kind of sound to them. Um, the fretboard is near typical 9.5 that you'll find on most squires and fenders, except the vintage correct ones, which are nine and a quarter, uh, 7 and a quarter, sorry, my mistake. Um, this is actually a 12 inch radius fretboard. So it's flatter, which will let, lend to lead playing a bit better for not choking out on them bends. Um, some other things are, as you can see, the headstock's been painted to match the body. Personally, I'm a fan. And it's strung through the body. Um, it's very light for, it's actually average, I would say. It's not he as heavy as some single cuts. Lord knows it's not as heavy as my T-type, but it still has some heft to it. Um, it has a belly coat as you can see on the back here and that's actually nice to see on the Telecaster considering that usually they're slab body design so it's nice to see some um, modern characteristics of other guitars coming into So you have your basic Telecaster wiring of bridge, middle, neck pickup. The middle is both pickups in series I believe. And then you got your volume and tone. So I'm gonna run quickly through some of the tones that this gar guitar can do. And I am going through the twin, 65 twin on the Mustang GT100. So that was all set, um, all journey, all three pickups on different positions playing through the same riff and then just some jazz to show like you can get other sounds out of it. Um, it does a really nice distorted sound so you can get a nice woman tone out of the way for that. That kind of lead woman tone out of it. For if you want to do that kind of lead woman tone that clapping was famous for. You can get that out of this guitar quite easily. And yeah, it's a really nice guitar for the price point. It sells for 369 current 36995 for my correction. Um at the present moment as of filming this video and it is a great guitar. Again, one of them things if I wasn't paying off an Ibanez which I adore um I would be buying this up in a heart because I need something with homeburgers and this plays really nice and sounds great for the price. So I've been Ryan for Ryan's guitar stuff and see you in the next video. Bye.